Steve Rhodes. Money masters out there, welcome. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm coming to you live from the TFNN television and radio network. Yes, television network, folks. Internet TV. It's the best thing going. What you want to do is you want to go to the homepage of TFNN, and you'll see a tab. I think it's the fourth tab, third or fourth tab, up on the top. You can click on that. You can watch us live on Tiger TV. If you're catching the archives, uh, this should be on channel 14. And uh, it's absolutely a wonderful way to be able to experience everything that uh, we contributors have here at TFNN. Our objective, our outcome is to be able to teach you something. Look, we know the value of your time. We know, uh, you know, that it's it's really the most precious thing that you have. You know, and nothing nothing could say that more than the passing of Steve Jobs, uh, if you will. You know, how, just how important time is. See, money, that's something that we can help you get back in a heartbeat. Time is something that you can't. And uh, you know what I've got up on my screen is the you know is the is is the way that I love to start my day. Whether it's actually physically looking at this picture or whether it is that I see it in my mind, it's really all about vision. It's about being a visionary, if you will. And each of you can be a visionary in your life. In fact, each of you should be a visionary in your life. So yesterday was kind of one of those surreal days, if you will. And and what I mean by that is I often talk about. Uh, signs, you know, being able to read signs and the importance of it. And yesterday for me was just simply, I talk about patterns too, right? You hear me talk about your patterns that you have in the morning, whether it's driving to work, whether it's what you eat, whether it's the restaurant you go to, whether it's the way you get out of bed, whatever you know your patterns are. And so since I talk about patterns all the time, I also have patterns, right? And there's nothing better, quite frankly, than changing your pattern. Because when you change your pattern, what happens is you open the universe, you open your mind up to all kinds of other possibilities. All of a sudden, you start seeing things that you never realized were just sitting there in front of you. It's the way that the universe rewards you. If you stay in your own pattern, here's what I can promise you. If you do the same thing, you're going to get the same results. So the question is, how happy are you doing the same? How happy are you with your results, if you will? So here's the deal. Yesterday, now, my pattern is normally I get here early in the morning, I leave late at night. And when I say I get here early in the morning, I mean, I get here early in the morning and I pretty much, you know, stay here between running Tiger Metal Exchange, between uh, servicing uh, my clients, between doing the radio shows, all the things I love. You know, I'm, I'm, I, it, what seems like I'm working all the time, I still can't remember the last time that I worked. You know, when you do what it is that you love, you know, what, what better thing is there in life? So yesterday, I decided to change my pattern. Now, our CFO told me about this great deli that opened up, uh, or it's been open for a while. But it was down on the uh, waterfront, which is really only about four blocks, four or five blocks away from here. And uh, sometimes we keep it a little chilly in the office, sometimes on purpose, sometimes it's just the way that it works out with regard to the, who knows, the sun, wh what have you. And the last couple of days, it's been kind of chilly. And, you know, I really do want you to look at, at Tiger TV and look at my screen because, you know, I've got that Think Different Apple um, you know, logo up on my screen. And it's, it's really there for a reason because, you know, it's the way that I... I live. But let me get back to the pattern. So I decided yesterday I was going to change my pattern. I was going to actually go out, smell the roses, so to speak, walk down the street, go grab something to eat so that I could be ready, you know, to do two more hours from four to six uh, with you on uh, Tom's show because he was out of town yesterday. So I'm walking down the street and about two blocks up from us, there's a little theater. Uh, it's I think it's called the Colony Theater or something like that. Seats 450 people. The sign up there says uh, Lindsay Buckingham, October 5th. Well, I knew that it was October 5th. Of course, it says underneath it, sold out. Well, for you, for those of you who don't know who Lindsay Buckingham is, he was the lead or is the lead singer, lead guitarist with Fleetwood Mac. So I'm sitting here saying, wow. Talk about changing your pattern. Talk about being able to read a sign. You know, sometimes the signs, folks, knock you, actually knock you on the head. I'd like to think that the signs that, you know, I've been sharing with you over the course of time are knocking you on the head with regard to money management, with regard to the 1% rule, with regard to overcoming your fears about uh, the marketplace and so forth. And, and if you stick with me over time, you know, it absolutely will happen. So sometimes those signs knock you on the head. Well, yesterday, that sign was absolutely knocking me on the head. The sold out piece of it, I didn't worry about because I know how to manifest whatever it is that I want in my life. I know how to have that vision. From that point forward, 
just so you understand, from that point forward, I had the vision of being there watching, uh, you know, watching a great show, listening to some music, totally unwinding, changing the pattern, changing my nightly pattern, uh, changing my pattern from that point forward. And even though it said sold out, now, did I tell you how many seats were in this uh, theater? 450, max. Now, when I came back up from uh, lunch, uh, there were a couple of guys that were, at, well, first I saw Lindsey Buckingham's tour bus uh, with the equipment uh, passed by, so I knew that they had just finished unloading. They were likely doing sound checks, knocked on the door. Uh, one of the guys came out. I asked, you know, are there any tickets? Are there going to be any tickets? What time's the box office open? All those kinds of things. And he said, hey, look, this, this concert was sold out within, you know, a few, uh, a few minutes, a few days, if you will, of when it was announced. So, and he said, I, I really don't know if there's any tickets, but the box uh, opens, you know, 7 o'clock or whatever time. So, uh, and, and as, soon as, I, uh, as soon as I got off work, as soon as I finished up what I did, you know, I went ahead and walked down uh, to the uh, box office. And, you know, I'm going to go to this concert. Now, I get there, get in the box office, you know, everybody's saying talk to a, a manager there. You know, it's a small place, so it's pretty easy to find people, if you will. Manager says, hey, look, you know, this, this, there's no tickets. There's no will call tickets. There's no handicap tickets. There's just simply no tickets. So I said, well, that's still no problem. I knew that I was going to be going to the concert. I catch up. I meet up with another guy there that is, in essence, in line, uh, you know, asking the same question. Now, this guy uh, drove up from uh, Bonita Springs, which is about two hours south of where we're at. Drives up from Bonita Springs. Here's another guy that manifest. He knows how to manifest something into his life. Drives up from Bonita Springs. Checks into the Marriott down the street. Uh, gets all set. Uh, comes in line. And now uh, he didn't realize how small the theater was. But I said, don't don't worry. We'll absolutely find tickets. Now you know because he was already checked in. He had already spent money. If if I didn't get a ticket, you know, I knew I had another outcome, which was just walk a couple more uh, streets over. You know, I'd be uh, back at the uh, house, if you will. And I could uh, just go about doing my normal stuff, but that was not really, you know, that was that was so distant in my mind. Well, the bottom line was, he ended up getting a ticket. I had a great seat, fantastic seat, incredible concert. But it's really all about being able to read the signs. So how does that relate to thinking different? Well, look, absolutely. Anybody who knows me, maybe you know by now that I absolutely think differently. You need to be able to think differently if you want to change your life. If you want to be able to understand what's going on in the markets. If you want to, if you want to understand understand how to deal with the fear and greed that goes on in the markets. If you just listen to the television media, you're never going to be able to trade these markets. We want to be able to teach you the patterns that are out there. We want to be able to treat, teach you those little secrets. So what was kind of cool was Lindsey Buckingham. You know, he's probably about 62, 62. In fact, we all sang happy birthday to him last night. So 450 people singing happy birthday. His actual birthday was on the 3rd, but, uh, you know, somehow we all broke out into a happy birthday. Now, you know, you start to get older, you start to reflect. Uh, he started talking about choices. Well, I always talk about the power of decision. The word choices or decision, really the same thing. And what he talked about was, you know, sometimes you make a choice. I say sometimes you make a decision, not really knowing if it's the right decision or where it is that it's going to lead you. And what he said, what he reflected on is, and I said this on Saturday at my workshop, even though I had my picture of Lanai, and I say that to you right now, there is no place I'd rather be than right here. And he reflected on that. He said the exact same thing. I was just like, wow. I absolutely was supposed to have changed my pattern yesterday, saw that sign, you know, just heard those words because it is so true. So I understand where he's at. I understand that feeling of emotion that he has. I hope that you also feel that there is no better place for you to be, that this is where you're supposed to be right now. And it's all because of your decision. And, yeah, we don't know the exact outcome. But if you understood, if you knew Steve Jobs, you would understand that that's how he lived as well. You see, I want to tell you just a quick little story of that, that others aren't really going to tell you, or I don't think they're going to tell you, in the media. And that's this. There's really two, two quick little stories with three minutes. So I'm not even going to worry about rushing it. You know, we'll get to the markets. I think they're somewhat flat or what have you. We'll get to the markets. But Steve Jobs, when he went to college, you know, he, his, his parents were very poor. He was an adopted uh, child. Uh, he was going to college. They were, he was going to an expensive college. His parents were spending a lot of money, or he was spending their money, if you will, just like it probably is in your life. And he decided that he wasn't getting out of school what he wanted. He absolutely wasn't. He couldn't see spending their money and, to a certain extent, dropped out, if you will. He stopped, and as soon as he dropped out, as soon as he changed his pattern, the whole world opened up. And in his case, the world happened to be some signs that he saw as he walked around campus. 
And the signs that he saw at this college, Reed College, I believe is the name of it, the signs that he saw there were all this beautiful calligraphy. You know, this goes back quite a ways. All this beautiful calligraphy. So what does Steve Jobs do? He signs up for a calligraphy class. You know, he's, he's interested in all the type font, uh, the spacing, you know, the history of it. And I don't know the history of calligraphy and fonts and so forth. But the reality is that one decision that he made, that one choice that he made, totally changed his outlook on life. Totally changed. I believe that the, re that the reason that we have all of these wonderful fonts, okay, are because of Steve Jobs' decision to do that. Now, how do I even know that? Well, one, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I grew up in the computer industry. I, in the 80s, uh, with the three other guys, started a, a retail computer, a uh, division of a retail, retail computer company, folks. We went from zero to $100 million in five years. We went from zero stores to 18 stores in uh, Florida in that same period of time. We believed we were on the mission of having a computer in every home. That was when we sat around and we took a look at our sales meetings, and we opened up, the first store we opened up in 83 was a 12,800 square foot store. There was never anything like that. I competed against companies like Microwage or Entree or, or Computerland, and they had these small riggy ding stores, if you will, these 1,800, 2,000 square foot stores. Our store was a, our, we had the CompUSA. In fact, CompUSA was modeled after our store. And so we opened up 13,000 square feet of stores. Our mission was to have a computer in every home. Same as Steve Jobs. That was his mission. That was the reason that John Scully was brought on board. John Scully was brought on board because Steve Jobs went after him for three years. Now, John Scully is the reason that Steve Jobs got pushed out. But that was the best thing for you and I. Because of that, we have the iPhone today. We have all of those other tools. Okay, and sometimes what happens to you, you are where you're supposed to be. And the moment that you can think differently, the moment that you can believe that, folks, the moment that you'll start to understand and your potential, you will go ahead and you will master things such as money management or whatever it is that's important to you in your life. So, anyways, 877-927-6648. Uh, we'll be right back. Thanks for letting me just share a little bit of decision making with you. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. X Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold silver producer in Argentina. X Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually beginning in 2013 at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investments and Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Are you looking for some extra cash to help pay off some of your bills? Let Tiger Metal Exchange convert your unwanted jewelry to cash. We pay out 80% of the market price for gold. Our payouts are the highest in the industry, more than double our largest competitors. And we've created the safest, easiest, and most straightforward process for converting your jewelry to cash. Log on to TigerMetalExchange.com and get your free scale, your free eye loop, and get the cash you deserve now. We provide a free online calculator that converts your jewelry to cash at up-to-the-minute spot prices. We insure your items for up to $75,000 per shipment free of charge. 
We videotape the entire valuation process so that you can view it online. You can call us toll free at 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. Let Tiger Metal Exchange put more cash in your pocket without ever leaving the comfort of your home. Join the list of thousands of satisfied customers and go to TigerMetalExchange.com. It's the only click you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Don't forget, you can test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. It absolutely is, folks. Welcome back. 877-927-6648. Thanks so much for joining me. And, and the futures are basically flat. you got the Dow futures up 15, NASDAQ futures up 5, small caps up uh, not even uh, half a point, and the uh, Russell 2000 down a point. So one, one kind of real last thing, and then we'll, we'll go to the markets. And feel free to call. We'd love to absolutely hear from you. And, uh, and that's this, that... You know, there's going to be a, uh, certainly a lot of talk, as there should be, you know, about Steve Jobs and maybe the impact, maybe his products, if you will. And, and certainly I'll be talking about him uh, during the three hours that I'm on the air today because I've got a number of, of stories, if you will, you know, stuff that you're not going to hear on the uh, Internet uh, or the Internet, on the, uh, on the tube, if you will. Now, you know, what, what the, absolutely Steve Jobs has transformed a number of different things in, in the world. Certainly, you know, the tools, some of the tools that we didn't even know that we needed. But when you talk about uh, leaders, okay, and that's really what I want to talk about here, is, you know, the real measure of a leader is not how many followers he has. Because, you know, there's no question that Apple has tons of followers, okay? The true meaning, from my standpoint, the true meaning of a leader is how many leaders can that leader create. And so, what I want you to do, if you're going to reflect it all on life, because, you know, look, your time is limited, and it's why you need to make decisions. It's why the power of decisions shapes your destiny, folks, and you don't want to waste your time living someone else's dream. You want to find out what it is that you want to do. If you want to learn the money game, we'll teach you. We will absolutely teach you how to do that. You want to live your life, and let something like that, let some type of event like that instead help you to make a decision to turn yourself into a leader. Say, you know, I've got vision, because all that is is just understanding what your potential is. And I've got vision, and you're going to go ahead and transform your life in some way. You know, I'd love to be able to help you do that. That's really, in my opinion, the meaning that you should be able to take out of that. You know, and, and, and we'll see what happens. Because, look, that's critical with inside his own company, right? You know, he has to create leaders with inside that company, or he had to create leaders with inside that company. If so, Apple's going to continue to move up, right? Because if it was just simply a matter of all he had was a lot of followers, and he was the brand, then you might not want to be investing in Apple Computer, because that doesn't make sense. If you believe in the leadership, if you believe in your own leadership, then that's the way that you want to go. So in any event, uh, 
you know, we've got three minutes here uh, before we go to our next break. Let's just take a look at where we're at in the uh, in the futures contracts. What I've got up on my screen here is the uh, Russell, and I'm going to show two different uh, retracement areas here. And retracement areas, folks, it's just simply nothing more than these mathematical Fibonacci sacred geometry numbers that we love because it's amazing how markets go to these points, and then they do what they're supposed to do, or at least give us a piece of information. When you get to the point six one eight area, and that's our floor here, or we're on the sixth floor, here in Clearwater, our suite is 618. You know, it's 618 for a reason because of Tom's vision, because of everything that uh, we have that's going on, you know, here in our life and our world and so forth. And you take a look at the uh, futures of the last leg down in the Russell 2000, and the point 618 is 655.80. It hit it yesterday, backed off. Went up and hit it again uh, during the trading session today, and it's backed off. It's possible. It is slightly possible that this move is over. Uh, in my uh, newsletter yesterday that I sent out, there was some, there was a, a lunar aspect that I was taking a look at, and the last couple of these uh, lunar aspects, and I didn't get a chance to really do it, uh, uh, investigate it further last night because I was at the Lindsey Buckingham concert, you know, having rocking out, having a good time. But uh, it was, it's very possible that this is only going to be a three-day rally, and seeing that in the futures we've made a higher high, it's possible that this rally is over. So it's going to be important to take a look at the ETF structures. Take a look at the volume that we have during the opening uh, range, if you will, during that first 30 minutes of trading. We'll look for some type of uh, signal there. If we go take a look, I'm a, and I mentioned two areas, because on a butterfly pattern, the retracement that you usually have is going from your A point, in this case here, the high of August 31st, down to the low that we made a couple of days ago. And the point 382 is at that 65009 area. So when you take a look at that is also where the uh, Russell has moved up to, um, you know, it, it does indicate to, to me that there's a possibility if we can stay above here and, you know, we're going to go take a look at the dollar because I know that the, there were some announcements at the Bank of England or what have you, and I think all that's going to do is put strength in the dollar. If that's what happens here, this move is over because with, uh, with regard to the dollar, a strong dollar is going to have an impact on the markets. There's no two ways about it. Now, if you can hold this area here, then where you'll see the small caps get up to is either up towards the high. You're going to get into the swing point, into the candle of the, uh, of the let's see here, what's the date, of uh, September 27th. And you already did that uh, this morning. So we're going to be paying attention for a possible rejection. Uh, and we'll go take a look at the ETS when we get back here. 877-927-6648. Thanks so much for joining me. And uh, we'll be right back, folks. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups and equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. Homeowners, did you know a burglar could break into your home and get away in just five minutes? A locked door may not be enough to keep a thief out of your home. Think about what you can lose, and then think about this. Now you can get a free security system monitored by ADT, the leader in home security. Pick up your phone now and get free hardware, free medical and fire alert, and free activation. It's an $850 value. Just call Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, at 1-800-949-8207. You'll get 24-hour protection, and there's no cost for parts or activation. So call now about a free security system monitored by ADT. Call 1-800-949-8207. $99 installation charge, 36-month monitoring agreement at $35.99 a month. Call for terms and conditions to this offer and protect your home license numbers. Call now, 1-800-949-8207. That's 1-800-949-8207. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? 
David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. It absolutely is, folks. Welcome back. 877-927-6648. The markets are off to the races. The Dow is down four. The uh, composite up two. S&P is down one. The uh, Russell, let's see, what's the Russell's down? Uh, just less than a point here. So now what I've got up on my screen is I've got the DAX. You know, we go around the world to give us some type of signals as to what's going on in the market uh, because this is a one-world market. Uh, and what's cool about the charts that we use here, folks, it really doesn't matter what it is that you're trading. You use the same techniques. You use swing point techniques. You use volume. You use patterns such as ABCs, retracements. And, you know, there's really, in our toolbox, there's really maybe about 10 different items or so. You don't have to even know all 10 of them. You could just focus on one and just trade that one pattern, and you would do really well. And then you keep adding some tools to your toolbox, but you still want to be able to, you know, keep your mind clear, if you will. Now, when we take a look at the DAX, and if you listen to my shows uh, as I was filling in for Tom last night, what you heard me talk about was the fact that it looked like where our markets were going to go up to was the .786 retracement, because if we went back and we took a look at the last move or the last two moves uh, on the uh, way down here, we're making lower highs. We're making lower lows, and each time that retracement of the last leg was basically a .786. So that's where it looked like the markets want to go. Well, if we go take a look at the DAX, we use that exact same principle. What that would have said is that the DAX would get up to the 5580 area. That's of the last leg down, and where I'm going with that is I'm looking at the 929 high on the DAX that was 5704, all the way down to the low that it made on October 4th. That low was 5125. If you take your retracement ruler here, the .786 comes out to 5580. Well, what else do you run up to up there? Well, you run into the swing point from that September 29th. The low on that is 5533. Right now, we're trading below that. The, the DAX has been, you want to talk about being up down all around. It was as high this morning, I think it was up 200 points at some point. It was up at 5609. We're trading at uh, 5520. So that's 100 points. Uh, let's see, where it closed yesterday was uh, 5473. 5473 versus uh, 5609. You know, 180 points or whatever that works out to. A big, you know, up move. Watch the DAX today. It closes at 1130. 
I don't have the volume on the DAX, and I know Tom doesn't get that uh, for a while, uh, but if that closes underneath that 5533.33, folks, that's giving us a signal that this move may be over as well. Uh, that would be, now, I don't know what the volume is, but it certainly would be a rejection of price, uh, meaning that it went, it tested that swing point, got to that 0.786, much like we were seeing in the other U.S. markets. So you want to watch the DAX. Uh, you know, you have the Hang Seng up uh, real big last night, 900 points, but that really was just playing catch-up because I believe that it was closed here uh, for uh, for a few days. That was up to 17,172, and in the uh, trading session that it, it had closed, we'll go ahead and pull that up here. Uh, now, in the Hang Seng, that had made it all the way back down to the 0.618 of the larger move, and the larger move that I'm talking about, folks, is going all the way back to the lows that it had back in the 2008 time frame and all the way to the highs that it made back into the, I believe it was October or November of 2010. So that thing backed off to the, uh, that thing backed off to its point six one eight. Not unusual for it to get down there. The actual 618 was 18,133. Where does it get down to? A low of, uh, I'm sorry, 16,133. It gets down to a low of 16,170, and then boom, catapults a little bit. But I don't know the volume behind the move. Certainly wide price spread, but I don't know the volume behind that move. If we go take a look at the uh, FTSE, we'll do that here. That's in the UK, folks, and the uh, FTSE, uh, where's that? Uh, give me a second to, uh, there we go, there's the FTSE. If we take a look at the FTSE, here, the FTSE is also going and testing the swing point from September 29th. So the low on that is 51.9136. It's trading at 51.92 right now. So I think we can use the DAX and the FTSE as a measurement as to the power behind this move, whether it's over or not. We'll take a look at some volume. We're going to have to pay attention to the volume intraday to be able to give us a signal. Anyways, 877-927-6648. So great to be here with you. We'll be right back. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today. Click Investments and Newsletters and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Studies show that 10,000 hours is what it takes to achieve outstanding results, unless you use the power of leverage. The power of leverage, folks, is key to attaining outstanding success in your trading and investing. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, and author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter. Let me take your trading to a new level, a whole new level. Let me teach you the secrets that the real money masters use each and every day to produce consistent financial results. On top of that, I'll transform your life in ways you never thought imaginable. You'll overcome hurdles like an Olympian. Here's the beauty. I'm so certain that I'll transform your life. I'm giving you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Time, folks. Something you'll never get back. The time is now to take action. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and order Mastering Probability. It'll change your life forever. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we waited at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. 
here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it just, it's just wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great new service from TFNN. Com. This segment is brought to you by South American Silver Corporation. For more information, just click the South American Silver Corporation banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Welcome back, folks. So glad to have you here with us. And stay tuned. we got a great lineup following this show. Tom is back in town, so the two money masters will be back together from 10 to 11. And I'll uh, rejoin you uh, from 11 to 12. And uh, then uh, we've got the great Larry Pesavento, uh, who will be with us from uh, 12 to 1. Ken Shreve on from 3 to 4. And Tom will take it home from uh, 4 to 6 today. we got the Dow is up a point or two. The uh, composite up uh, 3. The uh, s and P's is uh, pretty much flat. And, you know, talk about being able to move the world in one man, one company, if you will. You know, it's the currencies that move the world. But when we take a look at the ETF structures, uh, you know, in our markets, if you take a look at the Qs, which have been the strongest, you know, it's all to the thanks of uh, Apple. It's all to the thanks of that company, you know, and the people that are with inside that company. You would expect what I've got on my screen here is I've got the five-minute chart of Apple. You would expect it to have some kind of volatility in that first five minutes. You can see you have a... Decent volume bar, if you will. There were only 1.8 million shares uh, that traded. The last high volume bar that we've got out there in a five-minute time frame is uh, 2.3 million shares. That was at uh, 2.15 in the afternoon on the uh, 4th. And uh, so we'll watch how Apple is trading. Now, if I just go ahead and pull up the uh, Apple chart here, I'm going to go to my top 10 Qs uh, chart. And you ought to do the same thing. You know, if you're trading the Qs, Folks, what you really should do is you should go and you should understand what the top 10 holdings are inside that index because it represents 54% of the, or 55% of the total weighting. And it becomes easy. You just take out a sheet of paper, you take a look at each of the uh, 10 in there, and you just want to identify, you know, is it an up, is it a down, is it a sideways, is it consolidating, is it moving up because it's got an ABC pattern or some other Gartley or butterfly or retracement that it's doing, or is it moving back down? Because if you got, you know, mostly thumbs up, if you will, uh, then, you know, that's going to help you to be able to understand the strength inside that uh, index that you're trading. You want to do the same thing. If it's the Doug or the Dig, which is in the oil sector, you want to do that. If it's uh, you playing one of the nine sectors in the S&P, uh, you know, it's very easy to get this information. You can simply go to the uh, home pages of the uh, ETFs that you trade, and they're updated each night. And so you want to understand if there's been any kind of change in weightings, because there are changes in the weighting structures. I remember that uh, used to play the uh, DBA. The DBA, a uh, year ago, used to primarily be just four commodities inside there. And then all of a sudden, you know, it totally changed. When it changed, it changed the pattern, because it changed the mix-up of what was inside there. And you needed to understand that in the uh, chart that you were using, because you were no longer comparing to apples to apples, even though you had that same symbol. So it's very important. In the case of Apple here, having such a large weighting, uh, both inside the uh, Qs, and it has a strong weighting in the S&Ps as well, it's really all about Apple. Now, you know, this is, this is kind of a sad thing to say, but Apple, on not yesterday, but the day before on the 4th, had a big volume down day. Now, the markets traded down quite a bit, but Apple had a ton of volume. You had 44 million shares. Now, you know, it had 44 million shares uh, down on the August 8th uh, time frame. It actually had 40 million shares down there. The question is, you know, did some people know more about what was really going on with Steve than, you know, than, was, uh, than anybody else did in the marketplace? You know, what's the possibility of uh, that happening? In any event here, you know, it's really important for us to watch Apple I think the best uh, trade would be to see Apple go down, test the low that it made two days ago on lighter volume, close up, and then the market could uh, move topside. But it's really important to understand what's going on with Apple. So let's go to our first caller, our man, K. Rico, from South Florida these days. K. Rico, thanks for calling. Do you know that we have a great deal in common? We do? I love you. I was born in uh, Michigan, and I spent my uh, youth in northern Michigan. Oh, did you? Okay, cool. 
and I actually, um, I think I grew up as a young man to become a man very early. Yes. As a, um, as a, it's called a, we were, I was a tripper, and I used to take people on canoe trips from Grayling. Okay, cool. And I did the canoe trip uh, from uh, the entire Gray, uh, the entire Osabo River, which yeah. I know you know. Yes, uh-huh. I used to do that trip from the Grayling uh, Osabo River port entry and take it all the way down to Lumberman's Monument in Ascoda. Uh, how about that? Did you ever go uh, fishing at uh, Fletcher's Floodwaters? I wasn't really a fisherman. Oh, okay, okay. I used to fish off the back of my uh, canoe with a finger line hook to catch our trout for a little extra uh, food uh, for the evening um, adventures. How about that? And believe me, uh, you know uh, the Osabo River back in the middle 60s, early 60s, had great, good trout fishing. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, well, you know, the reason that, uh, well, I know you're, you're in Florida, you know, in, in, in helping to take care of your mom and so forth, but, you know, what, what's cool about Florida is it's, it's Michigan's lower peninsula. Yeah. You know, which is, yeah. which is great. At least that's, that's what us Michiganders call it. The, the uh, uh, Lumberman's Monument is a place someday I hope to visit again because <laughs> the memories I had as a young teenager uh, uh, landing there yes. were so impressive. And, God, I just... Well, another thing we have in common was my first baseball game in my life that yeah. I'll never forget oh. was in 1956 with the Yankees in the springtime. Yes. And my dad was able to uh, do a note uh, to the uh, elementary uh, school uh, yeah. to let my son and my uh, other son uh, get out of school to take them to their first baseball game in Tiger Stadium. Ah, uh, cool, cool. And I never forget... The lineup of Al Kaline, Charlie yeah. Maxwell, oh man, uh, 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 Harvey Keen, Ray Boone, yeah, oh my God, yeah, yeah, oh my God, yeah, Tiger Stadium, you know, a thing of a thing of the past. My uh, one of my, I grew up with a uh, group of five guys. Today we're still best friends with each other. I, any one of us could call each other, and we would absolutely be there to help out, do whatever we need to do. One of them uh, owned the uh, parking lots around Tiger Stadium. And, uh, you know, so, so we hung out down there uh, quite a bit uh, as kids, as young adults uh, even. And, of course, when Tiger Stadium moved, you know, that, that created a problem. When the Lions moved out, uh, that created, you know, it just simply impacted, uh, you know, the value of the real estate and, and so forth and other holdings. Yeah. But um, I've never been to the new stadium, to be quite honest. Uh, I've been out of the country ever since they tore down the uh, old uh, Tigers. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been to. It looks great on uh, television. You know, the, the, the new style of those stadiums is is a very cool uh, look to it, for sure. And, uh, you know, it's something that we could use down here in uh, Florida as well. Of course, you know, we would need some type of retractable roof or something. But, uh, K. Rico, stay with us uh, uh, as we go into the break here. Folks, 877 877- Nine two seven six six four eight. Always great to reminisce. You got the Dow down forty nine right now. Composite down eight. S and P's down five. We'll be right back. As Tom says, go long America. Now you can join TFNN and Barnes & Noble to keep money in your community. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, before October 15th from your local Barnes & Noble store. And you will be given access to not just one, but two exceptional archived courses. Tiger Scaling, The Tiger Butterfly, and Gartley. The Art of Timing the Trade is more than just a book. It's an educational journey that will help you understand the Wall Street greed cycle and learn how to recognize profit from genuine price moves. So, for the cost of just under $30, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education from Tom O'Brien, TFNN, and Barnes & Noble. And you will be helping to support an important local business, your local bookstore. If you do not have a Barnes & Noble in your community, then go to your local bookstore. We'll be sure to work with them to keep your purchase local. So let's Support our local businesses, keep money in your community, and get a great education. But be sure to act now, because you only have till October 15th to take advantage of this opportunity. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. 
David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Fernstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only five hundred and twenty seven dollars per ounce Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG Hi, folks, this is Tom O'Brien. My new book, The Art of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, is for sale at Amazon.com for only $18.40. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Sorry about that. Just lost that for a second, that train of thought. Anyways, we've got the Dow down uh, 52, S&P's down 6. We're still in line with K. Rico. we got another caller as well, Mike in Lakeland. K. Rico, thanks for calling. What did you want to uh, take a look at? Or you, you, you want to add something about the lunar cycles? The lunar cycles. Yeah. Um, it just feels like we're about to uh, have a, a lunar cycle change, but... Just curious about your thoughts. Well, I, I, I think so as well. Um, you know, the, uh, the what we're taking a look at, the next real big events that we have taking place, number one, you've got a full moon coming in on Wednesday, and I think it's full moon and uh, apogee uh, where the moon is, you know, furthest uh, from us, uh, or the center of the earth, if you will. Uh, so, you, so that has uh, proven to be a good turn date. doesn't matter whether it's a high or a low. Um, we've got that aspect. Uh, when I had uh, Larry on doing... Uh, uh, during Tom's show last night, he was talking about a transit chart. Uh, that and I don't have access to that information, so he was talking about Monday as being a possible turn date as well. Uh, when I take a look at the current cycle that we're in here, coming off of the uh, first quarter moon uh, that we did a couple of days ago, that's been proving to be a turn, and that typically is lasting like three days. And, you know, that's what it's looking like uh, right now. And then October 26th, that's one that, folks, you want to be making sure that you are tuned in on that day because that is going to be a huge astro day. Uh, we've got uh, 20 uh, planets alignment, uh, you know, on one day. That has happened, um, I think, if I, I went back and looked over 300 years. It's only occurred, and we have, and, and I'm going from 1800 to uh, 2100, 35 times, so 0.03%. 
uh, and half of those haven't even occurred yet. I think this is going to be our 17th since 1800. In any event, uh, so that's my thoughts, K. Rico. Let me uh, do me a favor, if, if it's okay. I just want to go to Mike and Lakeland. We've got two minutes left. Uh, just Absolutely. to get to him, but those are my thoughts on the Lunars. There's lots of activity out here, and, and it's, be, it's been working real well for us. So good to hear from you. Nice to reminisce about uh, northern Michigan for sure. Have a great for day. Sure. Okay, our best to your mom. Uh, let's uh, uh, go to uh, Mike in Lakeland. Mike, thanks for calling hey. in. Hey, Steve, I'll be real quick. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, no Maybe problem. we got two minutes. Question, uh, on the next hour. Yeah. Um, I did a, a Google search this morning. I found this kind of interesting on um, when Steve Jobs died. Yeah. And I saw a flurry of um, news reports and Twitter reports talking about early September. And I just wanted to ask you, and maybe you could comment in the next hour, do you think it at all possible that the plunge protection team and Apple could have delayed that news so they could have their launch and also give the feds, the plunge protection team, a chance to get that steel eye beam in on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Could that have explained that crazy action on Wednesday? And then now they come out with that news, you know, for for all of us sheep out here. Uh, you know, I the the thing I mean, is, Apple had some wild action here in the last, you know, few days. Yeah, I, I guess I, I have a tough time subscribing into you know that 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 right. that theory. Look, anything is possible in life. But, uh, you know, I, I say, I, say I, think I would have to, I would say it's more likely that when you took a look at the way that the uh, markets traded uh, two days ago, that uh, when we had all that volume, you know, I can understand people being close to the situation, understanding that maybe things were fairly grave. Do you think there is a plunge protection team? Oh, at the Fed, there's a little bit of everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, during the, May, during the May flash crash, yeah. because I was short up to my eyeballs, uh, uh, then yeah. I went short the uh, market. I think it was around May fourth or fifth, and uh, yeah. was short, uh, one hundred percent all in, uh, short. And I remember I was watching yeah. Apple was the signal for me to flip the shorts and go long. And that yeah. was just simply that's the important. In this market, as uh, Thomas said, absolutely, I, absolutely. I just, I just saw something bad there. Yeah. Well, well Mike, no. thanks for calling in and sharing with us, Thank folks. You. Stay tuned. Tom and I will be up in uh, just about six or seven minutes. Thanks so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it, and we'll be right back. Oh, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, traders. Hi, folks. I'm Steve Rhodes, and you know this guy sitting to my left, Tom O'Brien. What's happening, brother? Hey, and welcome to the Trader's Edge. It's so great to be here with you. we got a special segment this morning. You know, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, tell me what we've got. Well, you know, when you talk about teams, right? Yes. we got uh, Greg Johnson. You talk about a team putting together. He's the president and CEO of South America Silver Corporation. Oh, uh, trades beautiful. in Toronto under the symbol SAC. Greg Johnson, what's happening? Hey, Tom. Great to be back. How you doing, man? Yeah, uh, well, we're uh, we're doing pretty well. It's been a pretty wild ride in the precious metals sector here the last uh, few weeks. Well, there's there's no doubt. I mean, hey, the bottom line is that when you go from twelve hundred to nineteen hundred nonstop, <laughs> you, you need a pullback, man. Yeah, no, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty um, you know understandable that we'd see this kind of you know, correction at some point. I think people are often shocked by how uh, short and sharp they are. Yes. But certainly it's uh, it certainly brought things back to a level that anybody looking at the sector has got to be saying there's some great value out there in the space right now. Well, you know, we've known each other a long time, Greg, and the this is the third one in 10 years, you know. I mean, they, but the reality is, is that, you know, you, you need pullbacks in order to build another floor, you know. So, yeah, hey. absolutely, absolutely. And the thing is that the equities tend to trade at uh, you know a multiplier effect to the underlying metal prices. So yes. you know, regardless of the underlying fundamentals of these companies, when the metals are moving up, the stocks tend to move up more on a percentage basis. And when the metals get clobbered, like we've seen in the gold and silver market the last couple of weeks, uh, it's sale time. And uh, you can have some great names out there, great fundamentals that are trading at just incredible prices, well below their 200-day moving averages, so people can feel you know, comfortable that they're getting good value. Yeah, well, you know what's amazing? I was saying to Steve, uh, this is my partner, Steve Rhodes, uh, Greg, and we, we, do, uh, we do a show in the morning. I just, we have a new show in the morning that we did. Steve does a show now, of course, I do in the afternoon. But I was saying to him last week, it's amazing that the way that you have other companies, so-called companies that basically... Uh, don't have any money, 
versus right. metal companies right. that actually have money. And it's like, oh my God, it's like how do these valuations come in? Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's bizarre. It really is bizarre, man. You know? Well, especially in the development stage, Tom, you bring up a really good point, and that is that if you're not yet producing cash flow, uh, if you're a development stage growth name in the, in the space, and I guess it's true of any space, but particularly in the precious metals, you know, you're going to have to go out and raise money at some point. And if you've let the treasury get too low, and this is the kind of market you've got, you're going to you know do a financing that's probably going to be fairly dilutive to shareholders, and companies will often get punished for that. Yes. Uh, I mean, certainly 2008, if they taught anything to oh. management teams, it was don't let your treasury get to a point where – you know, if the market's turned down, that you're in trouble. And you need money, exactly. So yeah. tell us, okay, so folks, um, the, the symbol is SAC. Um, tell us exactly, because I know, you know, we've had you on a few times, but, I mean, we have thousands of more listeners, okay? So if you can walk us through, first off, where you're doing business and where we are at this point. Yeah, our company, as the name implies, is, is working in, in one of the premier metal-producing districts down in the Andes of South America. You know, this is the, the largest producing region for copper and one of the largest producing regions for silver, which is one of the other focuses for, you know, for our company. Yes. Uh, the landscape of you know, uh, this, this market in terms of the, the mining space is that we have explorers who are, are really you know, kind of wildcat, very high-risk names. They don't have any tangible resources yet. It's really a, a hope of hitting something, and you're betting on the team. Right. Then you have the development stage names where you've had a discovery. You've got a significant concentration of metal in a deposit that looks like it can be developed into a mine, and so the, the market starts to price those at a discount to future cash flow. And then you've got the producers who tend to trade it at full cash flow multiples, uh, you know, recent multiples are averaging around 15 times annual cash flow for a producing company. Okay. And what you'll see is in the development stage, as companies advance and de-risk their project and demonstrate their viability, that they're going to go from as much as uh, one-tenth the value they'd be in production to a, a full producer valuation over that curve of development right. as they advance over a period of a couple of years. And that's where a company like South American Silver is we have one of the world's largest resources of silver, 370 million ounces in the ground. Uh, we've got two engineering studies under our belt, and we're moving towards feasibility on that project. And then we've got a second project, uh, which is uh, a very high potential for copper, silver, and gold as well that we'll be bringing into the portfolio to give us a, a diversified portfolio of, of assets that we're advancing on. And listen, and so, folks, yeah, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. And you're going to see the South American Silver Band. Now, you can hit it because I, what I want you to see is the, the actual mountain that, well, the, Greg hasn't talked about it yet, but this is really unique. Can you talk a little bit about, because it's unique in the context, Greg, about how you can get this out, right? Yeah, I mean, mining is, uh, you know, back in the technology bubble of 99, it was one of those old economy spaces, and it was boring for people. But today a lot of people are realizing, you know, this is real wealth creation. This is where true new wealth is created, uh, and it starts out in the field with geologists with uh, decades of experience and looking for these for the big companies come together and recognize that sometimes these rocks contain these concentrations of metals that you know weren't previously recognized and these can be worth billions and billions of dollars and so a whole business has developed it's similar in many ways to the pharmaceutical biotech land where venture companies such as ourselves with experience in the sector identify these regions of enriched metals yes. identify these particular deposits and as you say when you look at them it just looks like a hill but then right. you recognize that that uh, hill is a sandstone uh, uh, rock type that hosts gold and silver and indium and gallium technology metals that have high enough concentrations. We'd come in with big trucks and shovels and open the ground up and process that and produce metal at, at very high rates of return and, and fantastic cash flows. Now, you know, when we, when we look around the, the political atmosphere around the world, right, what are you facing politically? Well, I mean, it's true of mining in particular as an industry, you can't choose where you're going to put your factory, and basically your, your deposit is going to be where your deposit is. Yes. So most of the mining industry tends to be working in either areas that are very remote, so you know Alaska, far northern Canada, 
Russia, where have you, um, or small countries that maybe have been underexplored because of uh, political instability and, and things. So you often, when you look at the environment of uh, exploration development and you know, large mining companies, you're going to see a lot of country names that you might say, wow, I didn't know people did much uh, in this country or, or that country. And that's really kind of the nature of the business is that we tend to be working in developing countries, uh, not typically first world countries, or if you are, it's going to be uh, you know, fairly remote areas of those first world countries. So that's going to be an element of investing in a development stage name in particular. Sure. The thing about uh, when you're looking at companies like this, though, if they're working in an area that has a long history of, of mine development, you know, that's something that really kind of underpins. It's an area that you can develop mines, the mines are operating today, uh, and, and that really is true of most of the regions of South America uh, that we're operating. These are areas that have long histories of mine development, et cetera. You do have a, a higher degree of, of just kind of general political risk in working in these smaller countries, but, you know, that's really true in general of the mining business. You know, it's amazing. And what you hope is that because these economies for these small countries are so dependent on mining, much more so than we are, say, in the U.S. or Canada, right. that, you know, really it's going to be a business that they want to encourage for the long term. Because there's so many jobs. You know, it's amazing, Greg. And folks, you know, it, and now I'm coming from the context that it's nice that we got a, a pullback. And, and the reason being is that when I ask that question, what people don't understand is that even our own country in the United States, you know, when, when the metals are going so high, everyone in the Senate and Congress wants to put another tax on Nevada. And I, I'm, I'm saying to myself, if they're going to do that, you know, you know, th these pullbacks are important because the greed factor for these politicians go through the roof. Absolutely. And the trend that's uh, seen these metals moving, a lot of people don't realize that you know, gold and silver have been one of the best investment classes, bar none, that, uh, out there for the last 10 years. Big time. And, and, you know, these companies, particularly the growth stage development companies, have given investors who've been riding that wave tremendous returns. Sure, we've seen volatile periods. But, you know, the long-term trends remain up, and actually the, the things that have been driving, the fundamentals that have been driving these metal prices, those remain in place. If anything, they're accelerating in today's environment. Yeah, uh, there's, there's, there's that, that many more people. And you know what's really cool is that people, underst people are getting to understand the industry more. You know, it, you know, that there's so many different, well, that resources running it, and that metals, you need metals for everything as, we, as we're getting Absolutely. up Absolutely, yeah. So, so yeah, no, it's definitely there's been an evolution there from old economy who needs it to, wow, these are really profitable businesses in the right kinds of environments. And today's environment is an environment where these companies are flourishing, they're making great profits as producers, and there is money out there looking to say, how do we help you take your project with such promise to the next stage? Yes. And that wasn't true of past decades. No. Uh, you know, certainly... The 80s and 90s were a very difficult period uh, for the mining industry, and there was a lack of investment. And it still remains, it's smaller, the entire industry is smaller than Microsoft. So it's still very early days uh, for the mining industry in general. And I think that, uh, you know, the, the trends that are driving this, such as industrialization of, of China and Brazil and the other uh, developing countries, you know, those are trends that, sure, we're going to have dips along the way, but we have decades ahead uh, for continued growth in those and continued driving forces that are going to support higher metal prices to come. Yeah, and no, I know you know what I do, Greg, meaning with price and volume. Great. And that, folks, that's you, a good looking chart. It is, and it's always a beautiful <laughs> thing. When you pull up a chart uh, and, yeah. you know, when you have volume at a high, which you have volume at, at a high at 335, it's a beautiful thing, man. I mean, it's, 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 I'll tell you, you know, it, it's just wild watching how just the... Um, you know, all these different charts, how they set up. And, and you know that, but uh, what's happening here, uh, Greg, is that you're actually on Tiger TV simultaneously on the radio and on TV because we have Tiger TV going now, too. But for all the folks watching, you can see at 335, monster volume on the monthly, 36 million. And markets don't end on volume. So meaning that, you know, we're going to be back up there. Just a matter of, you know, how it's going to get up there. Now, so, so... Uh, yeah, can you just stay with us for a second? We have a quick break. We'll come right back. All right, Greg? Yeah, you betcha. Awesome, man. We, this is Greg Johnson, folks. He's the president and CEO of South American Silver Trades in Toronto as S. 
AC. You can come over to our website at TFN and just hit that banner. This is Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We're going to be coming right back. We have the Dow right now up 45. NASDAQ up 20. S&Ps are up 7. Tom says, go long America. Now you can join TFNN and Barnes & Noble to keep money in your community. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, before October 15th from your local Barnes & Noble store. And you will be given access to not just one, but two exceptional archived courses. Tiger Scaling, The Tiger Butterfly, and Gartley. The Art of Timing the Trade is more than just a book. It's an educational journey that will help you understand the Wall Street greed cycle and learn how to recognize profit from genuine price moves. So, for the cost of just under $30, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education from Tom O'Brien, TFNN, and Barnes & Noble. And you will be helping to support an important local business, your local bookstore. If you do not have a Barnes & Noble in your community, then go to your local bookstore. We'll be sure to work with them to keep your purchase local. So let's support our local businesses keep money in your community and get a great education but be sure to act now because you only have till october 15th to take advantage of this opportunity go to the front page of tfnn.com for details tfnn is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters ken shreve's ultimate growth stocks Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today. Click Investments and Newsletters and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Fernstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only five hundred and twenty seven dollars per ounce Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York Stock Exchanges under the symbol GBG X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Welcome back, folks. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We have our man, Mr. Greg Johnson. Greg is the president and CEO of South American Silver. And, hey, Greg, uh, and folks out here, you know, 
Uh, there's a lot of listeners, of, there's a lot of new listeners, but there's a lot of listeners, of course, we're getting questions like wildfire here. Hey, is this the uh, CEO that had the gold show? <laughs> and, it, 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 you know, it, it's, folks, Greg not only um, is an incredible CEO, but he's an incredible educator. Um, and, you know, he was on quite a bit when he had a little more time. Um, and then he also came down um, and educated us. Yeah. And that, that, that those, those, um, workshops that you do are absolutely incredible, Greg. I mean, they really are. So, you know, the valuation, you know, I, I know you got into it a little bit. Can you, you know, we get about five minutes. If you can give us the, the valuation on, on how these things go when they go forward. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, worth outlining so investors as they, they look at these things. You know, there's kind of three baskets, again, that you would categorize these companies into. There's the pure exploration plays, which really, at this point, don't yet have a defined resource that's been quantified. Okay. Uh, and that's that's at the most high-risk end of the spectrum. Really, right. you're betting on a team, and you're betting on their geologic expertise to be able to find something. But, you know, as of yet, all the value would be in the management team. Then the next stage is you've got a discovery. You've got something that's significant enough in size uh, in terms of concentration of metal that it could be economic to mine either in an open pit type mine or in an underground mine. Yes. And the market starts to value that typically, uh, whether it's gold or silver or copper or what have you, on a, on a per ounce in the ground type value. Right. And what we see is the producing companies trade at more or less profit margin using their reserve pricing. Uh, relative to spot pricing, so that's every company reports their you know price to produce an ounce every quarter. Okay. And the market more or less trades plus or minus for a producer of reserves in the ground times profit margins, which makes sense. It's a pretty I see. simple. Way okay. To think of. Yeah, because that's, that, that's, that's your treasury basically. What's in the ground, right? Yeah. Absolutely. That's your. Uh, for a gold company or a silver company, you know, that is your inventory. Um, right. And as metal prices go up, the inventory actually grows because more of those ounces become, you know, economic. And so that's how the, the market will continuously adjust as metal prices adjust for these producing companies. When you look at the development stage, and as I mentioned, there's three major steps that we go through from initial resource development <clears throat> through a first engineering stage, a second engineering stage, and then what we call a feasibility stage, which is that final stage of understanding where you have enough confidence that a bank would loan you money to build your project, basically. Yes. And as we move from the earliest stages, you know, those companies tend to trade at about a tenth the value they would be in production. Okay. And as they move towards the mid and later stages, it's probably about a 50% of what it would be worth in production. And there's a big jump again as the market revalues these assets as they go into construction and then production. So investors that can identify relatively early opportunities in the sector that have high quality resources, high quality teams that uh, have done this before and taken projects through, yes. can see 5x, 10x, it's not unusual even to see 20x type returns with success as you take one of these projects from the early resource definition stage you know, through the engineering phases and then into production. And oftentimes what we'll see, Tom, and it's one of the big, you know, approaches that investors will look at, is that feasibility, that's when the big mining companies tend to circle, particularly the world-class scale assets, the really big right. ones that can produce significant ounces at low cost. And that's when we tend to see a lot of merger and acquisition activity in the sector. And, and probably, you know, 70% of these names get taken out before they effectively make it into production themselves. But that's okay for investors if that's giving them basically producer value, um, you know, a couple of years ahead of when it would happen naturally. Either way, it's a win for investors if they drive this value from early stage through construction into production, or if along the way one of the big companies takes them out at a big market premium. Because what ends up happening, of course, balance sheet wise, that I mean, they're, they're, they're already valued at that. So all they have to do is value it uh, five cents under that, and they make money. Period. Right? Yeah. No, I'm with you. Exactly. And so to kind of give you an example, the average producer today in the silver space is trading at a valuation of around twenty dollars per ounce of silver in the ground. Okay. The average for a feasibility company, so that's that final engineering stage yes. before you go into construction, today is around $7 an ounce. So you can see that big discount Huge. between producing and well-defined advanced stage development. And then at the earlier stage, they're trading around $3 per ounce in the ground. And right. For really large resources, oftentimes, uh, especially at the early days, you can see you know valuations that are under a dollar, and that's that's tremendous value if you can be buying 
ounces in the ground that are selling in the free market today at 30 bucks an ounce for effectively through your leverage and buying those shares in the company you're buying them for under a buck an ounce that's a great play that's a great Beautiful leverage thing. listen folks come over to our website at tfnn you can hit the south america banner right now you can find out more uh at tfnn south american silver craig johnson so much uh, so great to have you uh on again you have a great one safe one of course we look forward to having you back Thanks, guys, and successful trading to you. That's a beautiful um, thing. Drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, gives traders, investors, and money managers a thorough strategy for trading the gold market. If you're an investor in gold or any of the gold mining equities, this newsletter is an essential tool that can help you become a better trader in the gold market. The Gold Report comes out every Monday with complete coverage of the entire gold market, including the XAU, HUI, the dollar, the bond, the RAND, more than 40 different mining equities, as well as some of the most popular precious metal ETFs, including the GDX and the SLV. For as low as $75 per month, you can gain access to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report that will help you take advantage of investment opportunities at the current historic gold price levels. To order your Gold Report today with a free 30-day trial subscription, log on to TFNN.com or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. Are your cable rates rising? Tired of being pushed around by your provider? It's time to push back. Cut the cable and get Dish Network installed with absolutely no equipment to buy. Here's the best part. Packages start at just $24.99 a month for an entire year. That's right. Call now and get Dish Network installed free. Plus your choice of HBO, Cinemax, or Stars free for three months. If you call in right now, Dish Network will also throw in free HD for life. PMG Dish, a Dish Network authorized retailer, is waiting for your call and can have you watching TV as soon as tomorrow. Call 800-565. 8010. Imagine all your favorite movies, sports, and shows in crystal clear digital quality for far less money, and you won't have to deal with the cable company anymore. At only $24.99 per month, they're practically giving it away. Call now for full details. Call 800 565 8010. That's 800 565 8010. Again, 800 565 8010. Limited time off for prices, packages, and programming subject to change without notice. 24 month agreement required. Cancellation fees, auto pay, and paperless billing, and other restrictions apply. Call for details. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by... Harmony Gold. For more information, just click the Harmony Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. It absolutely.
absolutely is, folks. Welcome back. This is Steve Rhodes at Trader's Edge. Thanks so much for uh, staying with us. And uh, what a great interview segment that we uh, Tom had with uh, Greg Johnson. And hopefully you got a chance to hear that. Uh, we're back. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the markets right now. You've got the uh, Dow's up 70. The S&P's up 10. You've got the uh, Russell up 7. I've got the IWM uh, on my chart. You can see right now we're trading at the highs of the day. And the uh, Russell is headed towards that swing point that is out there on the, uh, let's see, that's on the 27th of September. Now, the low there, folks, is 67.27. He did 93 million shares. And it looks to me like, you know, that area wants to get attacked today. You're trading at 66.57. The 0 0.786 is 67.40. The bottom of that swing point is 67.27. You know, it doesn't have that far to stretch. And, you know, it, it would like to see it hit it today. Now, if it hits that area, that swing point, what you're looking for is you want to see a, you want to see it come into that swing point with more than 93 million shares. So you've got two hours of trading that have already uh, taken place and you've got 35 million shares. You know, that is telling me that you've got enough volume if it can get up into that swing point that it wants to take it on. If you get up into that swing point or even if you get close to it, let's say it doesn't make it all the way up there today, but you're coming in with volume. If you take a look at just the volume yesterday, you did 100 million shares. So, you know, this is giving you the signal that it wants to uh, take that on and it wants to take it on with volume. Well, if it can get to that 67.40, what it will do is it will get up to the top of that swing point at 69.39. Now, when you have these butterfly patterns, you really want to use at least a couple of different retracement tools to give you the range, to give you the idea of where it's headed to. And on the small caps, you're going from the ABC pattern that it created, and that AB, the larger one, that was uh, created on August the 31st. So you're going from the top of that swing point, the high there being the 73.89, all the way down to the low that it made uh, uh, two sessions ago, two trading sessions ago. So let me put that in here. I think I've got something turned off on my system, but that the 0.618 of that, folks, is 68.62. So you can see that range. You're in that 786 area, which is also inside the swing point that we're talking about on uh, September 27th. You can see on the larger move down, the 618 is at that 68.62. And so what you would typically see if we're going to have a failure here, and a failure means you'd get into the swing point. Preferably, you'd go just above it, at least one penny above it, and then you would close below it on lighter volume. That would be a failure. If you get into that swing point or you come into that swing point with volume, almost doesn't matter where you close. If, if you come into that swing point, your work is not done if you've got volume. Typically, if you're coming to that swing point and you do have volume, you know you'd prefer to see a close above that. In that case here, then what that sets up is that sets up the next level. And the next level on a butterfly pattern is really that larger 0.786 area. Well, if you take a look at my screen here on Tiger TV, and you absolutely should, because I promise to be able to teach you something, you'll see that 0.786 now at 7094. What you'll also see if you're taking a look at this little red line here, the red lines are nothing more than the, the Fibonacci contraction where we were measuring from the highs of 927 down to the lows of October 4th. I also have an expansion ruler on there as well. So the expansion of 1.272 of that swing point takes you to 7192. You can see that on my screen. So that gives you that range setup of the 786 area of 7094 and 7192. Well, what's inside that 7192? Oh my goodness, you just go straight across and it's our next swing point. You know, how perfect does that work? And I don't mean the word perfect, if you will, but, you know, if you're trying to learn these technical tools, and we absolutely want you to, we want you to learn swing points, I want you to learn Fibonacci, retracement and expansion, and I'd like you to learn Gartley's and Butterflies, and I absolutely can teach it. It's part of the uh, newsletter service that I have. You should check that out, 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, uh, you know, no better way to invest in yourself, and, and uh, so to give that a shot. That swing point was August 31st. 70 million shares, uh, you know, if we can keep moving up from here. Uh, 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the markets and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investments and Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks.
Studies show that 10,000 hours is what it takes to achieve outstanding results, unless you use the power of leverage. The power of leverage, folks, is key to attaining outstanding success in your trading and investing. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter. Let me take your trading to a new level, a whole new level. Let me teach you the secrets that the real money masters use each and every day to produce consistent financial results. On top of that, I'll transform your life in ways you never thought imaginable. You'll overcome hurdles like an Olympian. Here's the beauty. I'm so certain that I'll transform your life. I'm giving you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Time, folks. Something you'll never get back. The time is now to take action. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and order Mastering Probability. It'll change your life forever. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. But you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighted at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN. Com. This segment is brought to you by South American Silver Corporation. For more information, just click the South American Silver Corporation banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. It absolutely is, folks. Welcome back, 877-927-6648. Thanks so much for joining us. And, you know, uh, obviously a sad, uh, sad day out there with uh, anybody passing away, you know, and Steve Jobs, because he absolutely, you know, touched, uh, touched everybody's life. Now, uh, in my first segment, I was talking, because I, I've got some stories about uh, Steve, and, and I wanted to just be able to tell uh, one more, if you will. And that is that uh, during the first segment, the 9 o'clock show was talking about how, you know, how, how you manifest things into your life, okay? And when, when I started off in the microcomputer industry, that's what we used to call it, was, you know, we had envisioned having a computer in everyone's home. I mean, when we started selling computers, we opened up a retail store, it was to sell, uh, it was to sell computers to every, res uh, every home. When I moved from Detroit, to uh, to Orlando, Florida. I moved down with the intention of computerizing Small Business America. Now, when I did that, I was hanging out my own shingle. But just the way that this whole thing works out. Now, I w I'm, a, I'm a CPA by trade, if you will, and work for a public accounting firm, a fairly large one uh, up in the Detroit area. And one of our clients happened to be this uh, uh, computer store, if you will, that started, you know, it, just much like Steve Jobs did, as a hobby shop in the uh, back uh, back office area. But what was very cool about working uh, in that uh, in that firm, and I worked in the tax department, what was very cool about that was watching the growth of this computer industry. And I moved down to uh, Florida to hang out my own signal. I remember spending ten grand on a computer, and I said, I'm setting out on a mission to computerize Small Business America. Take my CPA, my finance degree, my computer uh, prowess, if you will, and just start knocking on doors. Uh, lo and behold, I get a telephone call uh, maybe a month or two after I moved down to uh, Florida 
from the uh, uh, the second in charge at that uh, company and to ask me, uh, you know, if I'd be interested in helping them start uh, their Florida division. So, you know, the options were uh, continue knocking on the door or computerize Small Business America this way uh, because I knew the outfit, good outfit, if you will. Anyways, took that deal. And because the computer industry was still so small, if you will, at that point in time, uh, you know, our focus again, again, was was on the residential side, if you will, was to, for a computer to be in everybody's home. Well, we we really that computer that that didn't work out at that stage. But that was that was our vision when we started. That was Steve Jobs' vision, if you will, and that was why he went after John Scully, went after him for three years because he he said, hey. What what other product, what other brand is out there in everybody's home? Well, it was either Coke or Pepsi. So he went after Scully, uh, you know, finally convinced Scully to come on board. Obviously, we know that that whole thing didn't work out because he had a soda guy uh, trying to maybe understand something about the computer industry. And, and we, were, we were such a young group of people, it just didn't fit right, okay? But the fact that Steve got moved out of there, okay, and everything... His vision, his ultimate vision, ended up coming to fruition because each of you, there's very few people on the planet that don't have some type of Apple product in their house. And there's no way that you can tell me, hey, this is more powerful, this phone here is more powerful than the computers that I was selling in the 1980s. By far, you know, I can do much, much more with this thing than you can with that, right? Now, Steve Jobs touched all of our lives. He absolutely touched my life. The cool thing is, I touched his life. As the story goes, I got out of the computer industry after we got to about the $100 million mark because what happened was it turned out to be it, we, we went from a retail store to a finance business. When you're doing $100 million a year, what your focus is, folks, it's on your inventory, okay, because you're in, you've got to have the right inventory to turn because you're taking a look at an inventory that gets obsolete at every six months because of new products coming out. The more important side is it becomes a finance business. You're worried about collecting your receivables because we weren't doing $100 million from retail customers. It was mostly from the large corporations, the bigger clients that were out there. That became kind of a drain, if you will. It wasn't a fun business when you go from 40-point margins down to about 9-point margins. Boy, you've got to be right on everything that you do. Well, I, I branch off and do a couple of other things. The last product that I created was a crystal product where we recreated photographs inside solid blocks of crystal. My first store that I opened up, maybe, and, and I talked to a number of uh, listeners or folks that actually saw the product being made uh, at one of my stores or bought one of my products. The first store I opened up was at Disney, so I had these nice Disney characters inside these solid blocks of crystal. In fact, for the year 2000 celebration, what Disney did was they sold packages to about 4,000 people uh, at the different hotels that they had. And the gift that Disney handed out was my product. It was a, it was a crystal with a uh, Disney uh, logo and character inside it, uh, along with a uh, base. And that was part of the, you received that as part of the overall package. So it was a nice way to be able to start off my, well, I'd already done business with, with Disney in, in another business, but not on the crystal side. Well, on the crystal side, uh, folks, uh, as you know, or you probably know, uh, Steve Jobs went on to become the largest shareholder in Disney. And it was, it was several years ago. He and his family were going through the, uh, uh, our facility at Epcot and uh, went through, ordered all kinds of uh, product. And uh, one of my managers uh, you know, got in touch with me and let me know that uh, Steve and his family were going through there. Now, so I know that sitting in his house, because I know how many crystals that we did, because they were images and pictures of his kids, uh, plus, he purchased some of the larger uh, character. We, we used to sell these uh, crystals that were like about 45 pounds. It was, uh, you know, I don't know, about this tall. And I mean, the crystals in the glasses is, is, is very heavy, uh, as it is very dense, if you will. But what I did, what was really cool, just because of the connection from the computer industry, having uh, spent a little time with Wozniak and, and, and Jobs, if you will, is that I took... Uh, images. I had our 3D graphic artist create an image of the Apple IIe, uh, the Leopard operating system. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was the iPod as well. And and what so and and sent that you know with a nice note. I mean I've, I've got the X you know still in my uh, phone here. Steve's uh, direct line uh, at Apple uh, as well as uh, his email address. And so the cool thing is is that you know there's a guy that uh, you know that touched everybody's life and and I can tell you that I know that I touched his life at least in a little way and you know and so what I want you to do here folks is you know I want you to 
simply be able to learn from him because he followed his passion, just as I do each and every day. I want to make sure that you're doing that because you should. You absolutely should. Life is too short. If there's anything that we should learn from this is that life is too short. Follow your passion. You know, if you're looking to go ahead, and if your passion is money and learning the money game, then then you're in the right place. And I know you're in the right place. And, and whether you want to learn from myself or, you know, we've got Larry Pesavento coming up next. Obviously, Tom, we've got so many great contributors here that want to be able to contribute to your life as well. So thanks for being here. We'll be right back. Uh, going to our last segment, 877-927-6648. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. some extra cash to help pay off some of your bills? Let Tiger Metal Exchange convert your unwanted jewelry to cash. We pay out 80% of the market price for gold. Our payouts are the highest in the industry, more than double our largest competitors. And we've created the safest, easiest, and most straightforward process for converting your jewelry to cash. Log on to TigerMetalExchange.com and get your free scale, your free eye loop, and get the cash you deserve now. We provide a free online calculator that converts your jewelry to cash at up-to-the-minute spot prices. We insure your items for up to $75,000 per shipment free of charge. We videotape the entire valuation process so that you can view it online. You can call us toll-free at 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. Let Tiger Metal Exchange put more cash in your pocket without ever leaving the comfort of your home. Join the list of thousands of satisfied customers and go to TigerMetalExchange.com. It's the only click you need to make. Studies show that 10,000 hours is what it takes to achieve outstanding results, unless you use the power of leverage. The power of leverage, folks, is key to attaining outstanding success in your trading and investing. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter. Let me take your trading to a new level, a whole new level. Let me teach you the secrets that the real money masters use each and every day to produce consistent financial results. On top of that, I'll transform your life in ways you never thought imaginable. You'll overcome hurdles like an Olympian. Here's the beauty. I'm so certain that I'll transform your life. I'm giving you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Time, folks. Something you'll never get back. The time is now to take action. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and order Mastering Probability. It'll change your life forever. Homeowners, did you know a burglar could break into your home and get away in just five minutes? A locked door may not be enough to keep a thief out of your home. Think about what you can lose, and then think about this. Now you can get a free security system monitored by ADT, the leader in home security. Pick up your phone now and get free hardware, free medical and fire alert, and free activation. It's an $850 value. Just call Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, at 1-800-949-8207. You'll get 24-hour protection, and there's no cost for parts or activation. So call now about a free security system monitored by ADT. Call 1-800-949-8207. $99 installation charge. 36-month monitoring agreement at $35.99 a month. Call for terms and conditions to this offer and protect your home license numbers. Call now. 1-800-949-8207. That's 1-800-949-8207. 
This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Welcome back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I love looking at stars, and our next star that is coming up is Mr. Larry Pesavento. He's following us here. He's doing the Futures Hour. That's going from twelve to one. So you definitely want to stay tuned for uh, for that. Now, what I never want anybody to do is to misinterpret my excitement, my energy, because folks, whether the market's going up, down, sideways. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. I believe that, and I'm going to have that same type of excitement, that same type of energy. A good trader always takes a look at both sides of the trade. You know, in fact, what you ought to do is when you take a look at one side of the trade, figure that out, stand up, go change your state, if you will, come back and see if you can look at the charts and find the other side of the trade. Because when you're buying, someone's selling. When you're selling, someone's buying. And there's no reason for them to be right or you to be right. What you want to do is you want to take a look at things. So what I want to do right now is I've got the diamond chart up on the screen. So that's the Dow. That represents the ETF for the Dow, folks. And what you can see in there, first you'll see this big blue line. Okay, that is the downtrend that the diamonds are in. What we've done today is the diamonds have come up and they've come close enough to hitting that area. So we're talking about an area where if you went back and you looked at that, if you knew that trend line was out there, you can see how that trend line has been hit. And that has been, if you will, nothing more than a boomerang on the way down. Now what's important here when you take a look at this screen is when you take a look at the swing points that we have to the downside, the first one that we would be looking at is on August the 9th. The volume we had there was 32 million shares. How about the next time that we come down? Well, that would be on September 22nd, 19 million shares. How about the next time we come down? That would be on October 4th, 18 million shares. When you go take a look at what we're hitting the highs with, maybe 13 million shares, maybe 8 million shares, uh, how about 7.6 million shares, uh, up at the top another 5 million shares. Uh, you know, folks, all of the volume, all of the pressure is to the downside. There's an ABC pattern that I've got drawn right here that would take, uh, it would take the uh, diamonds down to 95.76. You're trading at 110.12 right now. So it's really important for you to understand. And look, I, I could be ex as excited about this because the money game is just certainly learning to accept and understand that the market is a living, breathing organism because it's made up of you and me and everybody else. And you have the fear and greed. We don't have any real institutional money behind us. If you heard the interview that I did with uh, Ken Shreve uh, yesterday when I was uh, privileged enough to do Tom's first and second hour, the last question that I asked Ken Shreve was, has there ever been the start of any kind of bull run without a follow through day? And he said, absolutely, unequivocally not. The follow-through day, folks, you've got to have some volume that would come into the market that exceeds, you know, your prior uh, session or your prior two sessions. And, and so you've got to really be paying attention to the volume here, folks. But what I'm telling you right now on the diamonds, we're up against this trend line. This is a time to be careful. This is a time to start raising your stops if you're long. Uh, you know, let the market take you out or you're always welcome to take yourself out. That's the cool thing about this game. As Tom always says, you can take your ball and go home and run with it. And that is what's beautiful about this because, you know, if your mission, if your goal is to make a certain amount of money per week, per month or what have you, and you're already there, then, you know, what, I, what you never want to do is you never want to think that you know what the market's going to do because you absolutely don't. Now, we understand patterns and we trade those patterns. We put probability together. So you want to be paying attention to the diamonds here because uh, it is going to go further down. Uh, it, you know, it's going to at least go back and test the lows from October 4th where you've got volume of 18 million shares. Is it going to start doing that today or tomorrow? Watch that trend line, folks. Anyways, so great to be here with you. Please stay tuned for Larry Pesavento, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Have a great day, folks. We'll see you soon. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pezzi.